Yo, what up guys, DPX here, and, uh, you know, I want to do something a little different. Um, I have a Kingdom Hearts review going up soon. Um, depending on when you're watching this, it may already be up. In fact, it may have been up before this video. Um, but, uh, I'm a huge fan of Smash, and if you're watching this channel... If you if you're a longtime viewer of my channel, you probably are also a huge fan of Smash. Uh, so uh, when each DLC character for Smash Ultimate comes out, I will re make a review. So uh, Piranha Plant just came out, and I feel like making a review for Piranha Plant. Now this isn't. Excuse me. I'm not looking at Piranha Plant on a competitive aspect, but I will have to in order to review him. But it's more if he's worth your buck. If this is an addition to the game that was worth your buck, or worth purchasing it, or worth pre-ordering the game for, or getting it early. Whatever. So, um, I must say, he's a lot of fun. This won't be broken up into categories like my game reviews. Uh, but, yeah, Piranha Plant's a lot of fun. Does seem a little bit clunky at times, though. And a bit OP at other times. Um, see, his, uh, n neutral B can, uh, take a little bit, uh, of getting used to because you have to sort of angle it unless there's someone on top of you uh you have to angle it to hit someone in order for the move to even be effective because if you don't do that well it's useless the side b is good it's almost like donkey kong's side special or no donkey kong's neutral special where you get to charge it and then um, after that, you, uh, you get to, like, use it whenever, pretty much. But, uh, it, his, uh, Piranha Plant side special does a lot. He probably has one of the best recoveries in the game. One that's similar to King K. Rules, or Olimar's. But, uh, more so King K. Rules, because it does damage. His side, his, sorry, his down special does a lot of damage. No, 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 that's not what I meant to say. He, it, it's, it's got a lot of range. Like, a lot. Though that can also be a little annoying to get used to, as you have to angle that as well. And, uh, yeah, the, the, uh, the movie you saw in the trailer, where he had very long range, and he stretched out his entire neck to... Yeah, you, you, I hope you know what I'm talking about. That's his down special. Now, that can be a bit uh, interesting. A bit weird. Um, the hitboxes are fine. Uh, I, I did actually find a few problems in some of the hitboxes. Like, his up smash. It's annoying because, like, multiple up smashes, they, uh, like, uh, they can get you if you're standing right next to the character, but Piranha Plant's hitbox for his up smash is very annoying as the person has to be right on top of you in order for you to pull it off. Now, uh, it's, he's a fun character to use. In fact, I think I might consider him one of my mains right now, just because, uh, to be honest, I only have one main, aside from Piranha Plant, and that's Krom. But, uh, Piranha Plant is a very fun character. Uh, also, his color palettes are really cool. I, I like all of them. My personal favorite is the gray one, but, you know, I used, um, I used the default one just for the sake of this video. Um, but, yeah, it's, he's a lot of fun to use. Um, is he worth your buck? If you're a Smash fan, uh, yeah. I mean, this is honestly down to you, really. If you just want all the characters, you should absolutely get Piranha Plant. 
you had pre-ordered the game and redeemed your points, I mean, you might as well. You're basically trying to get him there. Um, there's one uh, problem with Piranha Plant, and it's uh, when you have him, never, and I mean never, do All-Star Smash as him, ever. Because if you do that, all your save data, everything, all your characters, all your spirits, your uh, y your data in World of Light, everything will be gone. Everything will be corrupted, because it's some glitch uh, in the game that, uh, I don't know, I, I guess, um, I don't know, it's interesting. Just never do it as Piranha Plant, unless you want everything lost. That's a huge thing that uh, Nintendo has to, or the Smash team has to patch up, because, you know, if you want to be a completionist, uh, and you want to try everything as every character, you're going to have to do All-Star Smash as Piranha Plant. And this uh, makes me wonder, will this happen with the other DLC characters? Is it like an additional character thing? Like, maybe it's because, uh, they didn't update, uh, the game, so Piranha Plant is included in All-Star Smash? Maybe that's the issue? Uh, I'm not sure. Um, yeah. Uh, now, for the score. Well, I'm ranking, uh, Piranha Plant at more of a purchase than, really, uh, a character. So, Piranha Plant, uh, DLC for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, gets, you know, a, a good 8.5. It's not, like, anything groundbreaking. It's Piranha Plant, a Mario character, but a very interesting one. You know what? Actually, screw that. I'm bumping that up to an 8.7. Yeah, an 8.7. Very specific, but I think it should be in between, uh... Ish in between ish, an 8.5 and a 9, and I feel like in between ish is an 8.7. So, yeah, what do you think? Uh, are you enjoying Piranha Plant? Do you want to get Piranha Plant, or are you mad that all your data is lost from playing All Star Smash? I did not, luckily, I did not do All Star Smash as Piranha Plant because I had heard about it before I even had the chance to do it. So I didn't do it. Uh, I, I, I might want to use a different account, a different profile on my Switch, just to see how, to see, like, how, like, what happens and everything. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I will be, I'll be doing the same thing uh, for Joker when he comes out, and I'll also do the same thing for the four other DLC characters. So yeah, uh, see you guys. Uh, and soon I'll have Kingdom Hearts 3 review, or I'll already have it, I don't know.